Thank you. <laughs> My name is Adele Bourne, and I'm a member of the board of the American Friends Service Committee of Southern uh, New England. I'm taking Martha Yeager's place, who is off in the wild, snowy wilds of Attleboro of Massachusetts today. Um, I just want to say that I we back up everything that uh, Stephen Brown has said, uh, and particularly Senate Archib uh, Archibald. Yes, indeed. Um, we're concerned because of the uh, overbroad statements, the mandatory sentences. I would have a rap sheet a mile long if this was uh, taking place in Webster Groves, Missouri, you know, uh, 1953. There were good reasons. I'm not a wild-eyed pacifist or a liberal, but in 1953 in Webster Groves, Missouri, our religious leaders and our school, wonderful school teacher, our town editor, um, black and white, got us all together, the kids, and we got rid of a corrupt mayor. We changed, we opened up a, a, um, a uh, new uh, 40 acres, a new uh, pool and recreation area, paid for by everybody, used only by whites. We changed that. And so when these schools desegregation came along three years later, there was no problem whatsoever. At the time, there were real problems, and my ministers and my teachers and I would have been put to jail because we had to cross a highway at one point or another. Well, that's neither here nor there. I just want to say that I'm very concerned, just as you brought up about the kind of language, the lack of uh, judicial discussion. Um, and I understand your concern about the highway. I have to take a friend to the emergency room time after time, and we go down I-95. But there are stops uh, uh, along the way that are not caused by protesters. They're just caused by what happens on I-95. Um, so I just want to say that we're behind the other people who have testified, and I agree with you, particularly Senator Metz and Senator Archambault, and I understand your desire, sir, um, Senator Patakis, but um, those are the reasons that, you know, I'm old enough that I have been able to know some of the leading people for political change and social change in this country. You know, that's the one advantage of being so ancient. And I think a lot of them, including Father Michael Doyle of Canton, New Jersey, you know, would be uh, behind bars under mandatory sentencing. So I just want to appreciate what you're trying to do to protect the public, uh, but I also have real problems with this bill. Forgive my digressions. Thank you very much. Thank you for your testimony, Adele. Any